Welcome back everybody, lads, ladies, and everything in between to today's installment of me watching something and you guys watch me something. That is the longer extended title for what is ultimately. Today, we're going to be watching the Bob's Burgers movie, or Bob's Burgers the movie, whatever the correct placement of the words in that order is. Now, I want to state for the record that Bob's Burgers is fucking great, okay? I think it is probably... Aside from South Park, and maybe American Dead, the only uh, adult animated cartoon that has managed to uh, retain its quality over the decade-long amount of time that it has been airing, broadcasted on television. It is actually quite impressive, I am astounded truly. Because I've seen the first 10 seasons, I haven't seen 11 and 12 yet, but from what I recall, the, the show managed to stay good even well into season 10, I couldn't believe it. Now, not every episode was good, it definitely had some bad ones, but such is the case with every show. Not every single episode will be absolutely perfect or absolutely terrible. It is the unfortunate case with, uh, you know, everything can be a mixed bag. You never really know what you're gonna get from those boxes of chocolate. So. Bob's Burgers the movie. I never really would have figured that this would be the kind of show that would have a uh, a movie installment in its series. I don't know, Bob's Burgers is not really the kind of show I figured where the plot can really, you know, stretch that long, because the stakes in Bob's Burgers episodes really aren't that big. It's usually, oh, Tina wants to get it on with Jimmy Jr., or Gene wants to, uh, impress some guy, or Louise wants to cause all kinds of jeopardy and pandemonium. And Bob, well, Bob's just going like, oh, kids, no, don't do that. Linda! Linda! <laughs> I, I love the way Bob shrieks and shouts half the time. Anyway, I don't have much predictions. I made sure to avoid any kind of trailers. No descriptions, synopsises, didn't even talk to anyone about this because I do not want to be spoiled on the potential splendid uh, magnitude that we are about to witness today. So I believe let's get into it now. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's kind of nifty. They're changing the 20th Century Studios song <laughs> to sound like the ukulele in Bob's Burgers. And Gene's stupid keyboard, too. Don't think I didn't notice. There's the farts. Oh, here we go. Even in the Bob's Burgers font and everything. Six years ago. All right, we're at the wharf. A lot of mayhem sure has gone on here. Bloody fish odor. He's probably my favorite side character, by the way. Ah! I don't want them staring at me, those things. Hey, hey, hey! What happened? Hey, <laughs> look at that! That was so cool, the way that all the pieces fell synced to the music. <laughs> Already, I can see the elevated animation quality. Hey, people eat burgers at 8 a.m. And your one single bur bur burger's gonna do it, Bob? And no, what? It's weird. <laughs> oh. In case you fuck up the real one, Bob? Why is there that weird reoccurring joke where Bob talks to the food? It's kind of funny, though. But, oh, it's odd. <laughs> Whoa, Linda, thinking of the craziest, wackiest long names there. Oh, Summer Tina? It's my favorite character. Maybe. Let me know, you guys. Which of the Belcher family members is your favorite? Mine's probably Bob or Louise. One of those two. Okay, so they need an extended warranty on their restaurant. Typical for Bob's Burgers. We're already in with a song. Nice. I'm sorry to say, but Bob simply does not have a singer's voice. Sounds like keys on a car. Man. The rhythm's getting me a little moving, I must say. <laughs> Wait, diarrhea, what? No! Go away, Jimmy Jr. I'm sorry, I hate him. He's such an asshole, you know? And what is that? That's not dancing, that's... That's like you're trying to wriggle something out of your shoe. Oh, God, get that away. No! Do not put a ring on it. Oh, awkward. No, what? How's he gonna reject her this time, like every other time? And this is definitely in her mind, currently. Yeah, Gene sure has the music bug, we've seen that plenty of times. 
Bro, what? That's just disposable cutlery attached to a napkin dispenser. Could be the next drums. Oh. Louise, spill it. Spill the beans. Was it? What is it? Hmm. I guess we're gonna get into something with Louise here. Yeah, I, I really actually like this song so far. It has a real upbeat, optimistic kind of feeling to it. Although, the dancing animation looks kind of odd at times. It's not so much the animation, it's more that they're just moving in a really weird way, I think. No. Huh? You dickhead! No! That's not gonna help, it's- Oh, it was a fruitless endeavor! Literally fruitless, because it's a burger. Damn it, the song! The song got me all hyped and joyful. And they tore me down like the Berlin Wall. What? What is that name, man? If you're not gonna say titty, don't say the itty bitty whatever that was. That is the sound. It's ear piercing, and it makes me bleed from many places. <laughs> That's me trying to face responsibilities in life. What is that? You know, back when I was in school, Kids used to do that bizarre shit where they'd roll around backwards and try to fall off something but land upright. What, the ears? It's a staple. Shut your mouth, girl. Ooh, the floodgates have opened now. Yeah, if she calls you a baby, knock her baby teeth out of her face. Oh, Teddy. Oh, Teddy. To be honest, I think they had way too many Teddy episodes. No. We're about to see Berserk, Bob. We're gonna need about five, 50 lemonade stands. Feet, mouth, suns is like something you'd see in Annoying Orange. Or when a Dan Schneider shows. Another song? We just had one. Oh, nope, cutting off early. Whoa, okay! Godzilla's rising from the earth? Damn it, that is the last thing we need right now! They can't even enter the restaurant anymore! <laughs> They're gonna have to climb a rope up to the roof. No, not fish odor! The Earth just wanted to have a, a new anus, I think. That would take months, at least. Oh, he's just pawning it off onto his brother. Stop moving it to someone else! Oh my god, just give an exact amount of years, or however long it will take. It's pretty amazing, really. <laughs> no, if Felix got all this, he would have run it into the ground. Probably have to escape to Mexico. What does he do with his hands? Please, nothing gross. You couldn't even call them the Belchers! No, God, that's all adult life is. It's just bills and bills left, right, and center. Oh, we all know that maybes are just yes in disguise. I mean, a no. Yeah. There are no in maybes clothing. No! Don't let the temptation of suicide draw you closer. This is weird. Louise is not loud and chaotic and running around as usual. Where will that lead? I have a proposition. We make a second Bob's Burgers restaurant in the hole. Million dollar idea, truly. Underground restaurants, you know, opportunistic business. They can't get in. Everything's looking bleak now. I'd be in Teddy's book club. Bob's mother? Wow, we've never actually met her. Shit. It's not gonna get filled in tomorrow, Linda. Okay. There's looking bright to the future, and then there's just being clueless. Why are you playing with his face like he's a doll? I must say, Tina's probably my least favorite out of the Belcher family. I don't know, she just does a lot of weird things, man. You know, you know what I, you know, you see what I mean? She wants to fuck zombies or something? 
stuff. And if only there were. Well, there I really like this weird, zombies. creepy, supernatural world they're living in. Oh. Yeah, probably. I'm so. I mean, after all the rejections he's given, how about not? No, it's got to be subconscious. Don't tell a girl to take it easy. That never ends well. <laughs> well, Tina, you have issues to sort. I would help, but I'm a screen away. Oh, now Gene is a fantasy. What are these outfits, man? Really trying to replicate 90s odd bands. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Robot aliens. Believable. Oh! So clearly this is his own, you know, doubts and anxiety. Talking to him through a dream. It had to be a robot alien civilization telling him that. Okay, Louise, what's going on? Tell old Jamie. Oh god, I said my real name. Whoa, that looks cool. Okay, my suggestion. Put a uh, wrapping over the toilet seat. And just wait. I never noticed the hat, to be honest. Oh, there it is. That's what kids do, you know. Really? She's gonna say how she got them? Oh, wait, Linda made them? Oh, then they have a sentimental value to them. Okay, but why? How is videotaping herself in the hole going to do anything? Is it to get the attention of everyone? Like, I'm in trouble, come help me? Why? Oh, I get it. She's gonna try and get out of it to prove that, you know, courageous. Unless this is all metaphorical. In her head. They would try and stop you because you should be stopped from doing this. <laughs> Gene, you're not making a convincing argument right now. Good. Oh, no! Well, um, she was overdue for a broken neck. <laughs> what? Okay, what's gonna happen? They're gonna drop the rope or something and be stupid. Or the rope will snap. So many things could go wrong here. Because this is such a dangerous and uncertain situation. And isn't this meant to be filmed? I mean, at least if she gets stuck. Bob and Linda will be here in the morning. Oh, shit. There's a man who died in the hole. I think it's Papyrus. Oh! Oh, disgusting shit. Yeah, that is some traumatizing shit right there. How long would he have been down there to decompose down to a skeleton shit? A few decades? So how'd she get out? Did they eventually pull her out? Gene and Tinder. No, damn it! Now it looks so suspicious on our family here. Whoa, what? Jeez, discrimination there. In the police force? No way. You mean after that, you'd think you'd at least say, Oh, you don't have to go to school today. A dead man's decayed teeth fell into her mouth while she was down in a scary hole. I'd be traumatized. Not as a big old strong adult man that I am now. Ow. <laughs> Why would you want a souvenir of that? Oh, okay, okay. To brag to everyone. Oh, not them. I hate the two of those. I remember Tammy, is that her name? Her introduction episode, she was a ripe bitch, a piece of shit. So why did Tina ever hang out with her again after that? Oh my god, he's like a foot away. How are you missing? Stormtrooper aim. Why are you asking it now? Oh. Really bad time for that. Oh, no, Mr. Franz. Don't talk to Louise when she's mad. Please sell the Bob's Burgers burger phone. Really? Not one other dead person. Hitler? Linda, how are you that stupid? Come on. I don't know. They might think we're in cahoots with the killer. Oh, there it is. Oh, really? 
Fish odor, eh? I mean, I'm not surprised. He probably offs like a hundred people a week who do something wrong to him. What? He's definitely guilty. Well, I mean, probably not with how the story's gonna go, but I believe he would do it. I believe he would! Well, the plot thickens very much, like a milkshake. Food trucks! You guys already did that. Oh, Bob's broken. His mind abandoned him long ago. He's peering straight into the abyss, and the abyss is staring back. Yeah, when you're young, everything's a lot easier, though, Linda. The world is your oyster. Now the world is our enemy, trying to tear us down and shatter our shins at every given moment. Don't actually punch a man in the balls, man! Oh! He's probably deserving of going to prison for a whole countless number of other things. Oh, crap. What is Louise going to do to, tr to attempt to mend our difficulties? I'm listening. I mean, Bob could always get a different job. Even if it sucks, he doesn't have to work as a in that exact restaurant. Now this is the Louise we know. Even if she's bizarre and chaotic. Clearly still loves the family. Will do anything to help them. Oh, Mickey, he's he's an odd one. An oddball. A little, you know, cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> oh, okay. So this also tangles into her whole, you know, uh, adventure about trying to prove she's not a baby to that one singular girl no one cares about. <laughs> hey, we we're talking there. Move aside. I kind of sympathize with the way she's talking. Oh, hey, half prices, everything, do it. Because customers can be exhausting. Hey! Hey! Oh, they just dumped their bloody manure or whatever that is. That would take ten lifetimes to shovel all that shit in there. They won't even be able to- no one will be able to drive down the street with that, there. Oh. Oh, it's adorable, Teddy. He's trying to help them. It has a real do-it-yourself charm to it. 9 out of 10. Teddy, you are not the sixth member of our family, but I applaud you for giving it a go. No, Linda! We need some rationale in here. Linda doesn't wear a wig, a hairnet, in the kitchen? Ew. You could probably make a whole new head of hair with all the hair that she sold in the burgers, shit. See, the thing I like about Teddy is, He's a goof, he's a dumb, gullible goof, but he definitely means well. Which usually can make up for his, uh, you know, idiotic ideas and entrepreneurial attempts. Are those bum fights going on back there? Hey, is anybody getting murdered back there? If you are, say, help me! You're very close to signing away your internal organs by walking around here. Oh, wait. Oh, no! Never mind, completely harmless. How's it going being a mouse, Mickey? What makes those ducks so lucky? What time's the orgy? I'll pencil it in. You're not even whispering it! Now everyone's heard it! Don't use the B word. And I'm not talking about bitch. Mate, we would have believed you, you didn't even need to show us that. Okay, the third song. I guess this is officially a musical. I like how everyone moves so synchronized. Pretty much just complaining about how bad it is to be a carny. I can get down with that. Especially in song form. Louise, you really can't compare what happened to you to these guys. Man, I'd rather be nine again than uh, being an adult. Also, isn't this kind of similar to um, home, uh, Who Shot Mr. Burns? The bullet came from a gun that Homer had? No, it was in his car, but it was Mr. Burns' gun. Right. Was it a baby who did it? Oh, no. Please not. <laughs> How was that cop dancing? What was that? Hey, hey! The only followers we want are on YouTube, not in an alley? No. 
Yes, he is following us, most definitely. Perhaps he is a gentle giant, please. You were? Were you the murderer? We won't tell anyone. Why are they hucking ducks, man? Saying a night for hucking ducks. Okay, we don't need all these teeny tiny little details, mate. Summarize. Ah, yes! We've cracked the case! Bloody Felix. First he gets 100 million subscribers on YouTube and then he kills poor Dan. Man, you're dry cleaning him! Wait! Okay. An innocent man is about to be put in jail and you're focused on your bloody tuxedo? I'm ashamed. To be honest, I hate olives. How can anyone eat olives? Oh, oh my god, no. First there was furries, now there's foodies. Someone's probably getting off to that right now, right as we speak. Wouldn't it make more sense for the bikini to be like around the, the side, you know? Rather than on top? Because that would be like having a bikini on your head, up here. Oh, bloody snitches. Squealers? They got loose lips. Oh, the biker gang. Uh, what was that guy's name? The one with the broken vest? I don't remember. At least they have good taste in music. You mean library? I knew he meant school. I, I tried to make a joke. Terrible. Not even frogs. Tadpoles. They're turning the frickin' frogs gay! Oh! Poking him right where he's sensitive. In the robbery. As long as he's not there. If he's there, then he'll catch you. That car looks a lot more stylized than the rest of them. Him! That's him! That's the guy I was meaning. God, you're terrible at your job, man! Deserve to be suspended. Why would you let Linda go out in public like that? Okay. Linda, we sealed the deal! Now you're de-sealing it! <laughs> Seal. Get it? Oh, yes, Hugo. I think he's hilarious, actually. He's such an insecure, pathetic little man. I mean, the food cart says Bob's Burgers, though, doesn't it? That's kind of a dead giveaway. Oh, they actually moved the whole cart? I'm surprised they had enough time without him noticing. Did you guys ever have a treehouse as a kid? I certainly didn't. I already live in a house. Don't need to live in another house in trees. I just realized the door was unlocked. Really? At least bring a machete or something in case this man really is the the killer. And he'll add you to his victims list. Sell the people burgers. No, sell burgers to the people who sell food. Oh wow, we already got a line forming, nice. And Teddy, you are terrible at customer service! Oh, I'm revolted. <laughs> get in the closet! Come on, Tom Cruise, get back in the closet. There, they're all in there. Just attach yourselves to the ceiling like spiders. They never check the ceiling for spiders. Oh, not her. If there's no Walter White, there's no chemistry. Oh, he's fleeing the country? Well, checkmate. Oh, and I made a joke about something like he should flee to Mexico if he did something. Mate, I, I am onto it. I was the one who figured out it was him before there was even a murder. You're telling me he didn't hear their whispering or hear their footsteps out on the patio? <laughs> Maybe he wants the birds to come pick it clean or something. To be fair, a murderer probably would live in a creepy wooden house in a tree. Nope, he conveniently looked to the left and forward, but not to the right. Ah, oh, rope burn, rope burn! Take one for the team. Oh my god, make up your mind, mate! We're trying to evade your field of vision, please give us a hand. So far, this feels sort of just like a very long Bob's Burgers episode rather than more of a movie, but that's a good thing. That's mainly what I really wanted to come in for. Hey, it's him, Dan! Was all that just laying on the on the pier? 
I mean, on the on the boards. Suspicious. Linda, now your fingerprints are all over it. Oh, okay, it's a memorial. Wow, these guys all loved him. I bet they never even met him. Maybe the girls here. I bet even in the situation, Bob and Linda are gonna be like, "Kids, why aren't you at school?" Wait, her name's Fanny. Oh God. No, oh. Please abandon this whole goal of giving that thing to Jimmy Jr. Ah, oh, don't do that. What is this? No. One Felix dancing would look ridiculous. A whole dozen of them? Oh, goodness. I'm gonna need therapy. You actually had it for a second, and then you just had to nudge it a little bit forward. I guess you could say they made a mountain out of a molehill. None of these doors they go into are locked. I guess everyone just has permission to enter anywhere and everywhere. It's set out, Gene. You wanna feel bad? Oh, elegant, lustrous. <laughs> just one memorial, okay? It's when you get around to four to five that people should really start turning their heads. Oh, there's the furries. They're even in Bob's Burgers. Yes, I heard you go. Thought you were arrested. What, for murder you can just... Post the bail? Just go on a murdering spree and shell out a million dollars. I'll be, I'll be honest, I've been having a lot of trouble growing a proper beard. Looks pretty cool. We can go down into the sea and visit Spongebob and friends. How are you even gonna get that out of here? They probably had to build it down here. Oh, okay. Twisting the nipples opens the entrance. Man, I would love to have a system of connected tunnels underground and I could just enter up into any place I need to go. Man, if you wanted to evade the police, just hide down there for a few months. Or if you needed to dodge a crazy ex-girlfriend. Plenty of maneuvers. Oh, not him again. He kind of looks like Napoleon Dynamite. Yep, just get the small talk out of the way, breaking the ice. Perhaps it was a joint venture? So they're both just half murderers. Gene, you don't need to help yourself to the organs. <laughs> Tina, words! You need to form a sentence with him, not spout them off randomly. Half-hazardly. Oh my god, really? She's bringing this up to him in this situation? You're not even gonna give any advice. Just trailing off, cause you're a dickhead. <laughs> oh, just the timing on that was funny, man. How do you even hit that rim? It was such a thin area of that wide open hole above it. Really? Of all the countries to go, you're going to Cuba? Fun fact, Fidel Castro was actually a huge fan of Coca-Cola. Ironic, I think. I'm not even surprised that's on the internet. Do not call it a land poo. Surface shit, however, is definitely acceptable. They sure do push the cousin around a lot. Fleeing responsibility. Sometimes it feels like the only true thing you can do. Oh! Oh, it's him! Oh, we should we should have known. You know? Was he in any any episodes? I, I can't recall. Oh, it would make sense. They brought him in just so he can be the killer in the movie. I think I do support the plausible theory that he is the killer now. Ew. How could he possibly recognize it? Go on. Show your true nature. Cunt. Oh, jeez. Run, man, run! If you don't want your organs pierced, we're going to need to distract him with a little song and dance and then feed him over the head with a baseball bat. No, there's nothing to grasp and get a grip on. Okay, good. His attention span is minimal. Bullshit. 
keep saying it's Maybe. harder to justify. Andy Dan, it's just Why? Bad. You framed me. You're a terrible You just hate cotton candy. Selfish lover, I oh, oh really? How did they even get down here? Mom and dad are babies. Oh, my babies. I mean, that was expected. Could have at least brought something with you. I knew it. I knew they would come back. See, this is what happens. You kill one guy, and now you're gonna have to kill, uh, seven. Yeah, seven of them. Not the time for singing, Bob. Save your breath. Save your words. Maybe I love you, kids and Linda, but we're about to die. Why would you tell them? What if they get away? Then they're going to the police and they're gonna say everything. He sorta of is reminding me of, um, that villain from Despicable Me, the weird guy. The way he's moving in the tracksuit. I mean, I'll, I'd like to hear it, but make it snappy. Ten words or less. Hey, shut the fuck up, discriminate against the poor. Well, we're not just nuts, we're screwed. Yes, spill the beans. Oh, he's just going on and on and on. So if that giant pile was in front of the wharf, how did it get in front of Bob's restaurant? Fish odor. Felix, surely one of you has a gun you could pull out on him while he's not looking. Oh, so he just had a brilliant, maybe successful idea that they wouldn't, you know, put a penny into. I mean, with how weird you are, I wouldn't throw my hat in the ring either. He's even going so far to murder children for his ambition. <laughs> Mole hell, oh god. <laughs> Three hour gym body, yeah. He looks like he belongs in the Henry Stickman collection. You are evil! You've murdered one person, you're about to murder a total of eight. For your own selfish reasons. Pretty evil. He's gonna go on a date with that? Well, let's hope the other person was in a cat costume. Oh no, not Teddy's son, the cart. Brings a tear to my eye. I raised that boy, cart, girl. It's the raccoon from over the hedge. RJ. Teddy, you're just gonna leave a bunch of broken garbage outside the restaurant? Not even cleaning it up? 